it, um, you know, this weekend really helped me out. Uh, especially just, you know, when we were there, like I tried to get as much treatment as I could before the game. You know, I didn't really know what was going to happen with that. So I just tried to like really stay on top of my therapy while I was there. And like all my swelling, all that has stayed really consistent. And I'm, I'm feeling really good. Did your reps change at all today? Um, I think so. I don't really, I mean, we haven't had a ton of discussions on stuff, but, uh, you know, I, I feel like they're a little bit more than last week for sure. How's the adjustment thrown with the knee brace on by them before? Yeah, it took a little bit to get used to at the start. Um, with the brace on, it kind of like restricts your motion a little bit. So like, I really only felt it when I was like sprinting and all that stuff, but throwing, it hasn't really changed too much. Um, there's a couple things here and there, but I feel like I've gotten used to it and I've, I've thrown enough with it now that it just kind of feels normal. Is this the same brace you had when you first got hurt? Or it... No, I had a, so at, at the game, cause this one's custom made now. The one I had at the game was just like a stock one. It was just like huge and bulky and ugly. <laughs> so that's the one that they slapped on me for a little bit and I had to wear that until I got this one made for me. What's kind of the feeling of, of if there's pressure to live up to that, the performance that you had against Washington State? You've been out of sight for, for a while. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't really feel anything. I'm just, like, excited to be back now. Um, you know, looking back on the game and all that, I think it was just, like, really nice to just, like, look over, especially when I was hurt because, you know, I kind of saw how, like, my emotions changed throughout the game. And at the start, like I said earlier, like, the game was just, like, a little fast. And I think that I just had, like, I was just so excited and my emotions were going through the roof. But once I kind of got settled in, I felt like really comfortable. And so I think that I'm just gonna try to take that feeling and, and take the lessons that I learned from that and just continue to do that with whatever opportunity that I get. I know Graham talked about how you were gonna have a package in that game regardless. Yeah. When you come into that game, how much were you expecting to, to be a part of a game plan? Like, was it gonna be kind of a sparing thing or just kind of had to be loose the entire game, just maybe get one series? Or yeah. Sort of um, I, we didn't like have too much discussion on how much I was going to play. Uh, I had a couple packages that I'd go in and I had no idea when they were going to throw me in. So I, like, like you said, I had to just stay ready on the sideline, try to stay warm. Um, but everything just came a lot sooner than I expected. Uh, so I didn't really have to worry about that on the sideline from then on. Is the prospect of that kind of strange as a quarterback? I mean, you're so used to just spending the whole game kind of getting into a rhythm versus just like jumping in for one series. Yeah, I would expect that it would. Obviously, that's, that's not really what happened. But, yeah, sure, sure. Um, I, yeah, I would say so because, you know, sometimes when you go in, you don't really get to get the feel of the whole game. So you got to be like right on point. Um, you got to be super decisive and you can't really miss a beat. So I could see how that, that would be a little different with just, you know, coming in and out of things. But you just got to always stay locked in. You were more live periods today. Is there any hesitation with, with your knee? No, I don't feel anything at all. What do you think is the biggest thing you've taken away from spending a couple of weeks on the sideline you could take into game action? Yeah, I think that I've just been able to take it from a different perspective now. Um, from watching it on the sideline, it wasn't as much like when I was hurt, like I wasn't going to be able to play. So I really like tried to like take in like the, the fronts of the defense, the coverages, take that all in as much as I could. And then I was able to see the play, hear the play. And then I kind of just like progress and go through, uh, you know, go through the play, go through the scheme as if I was in it. So I think that those mental reps, I wasn't really able to get as much when I was, um, you know, just like yeah. kind of waiting, seeing like if I was going to get in at all, just trying to be ready. So those mental reps, uh, I think, are, are something that I've learned a lot from for that experience. What's, what's your sense of where the team's at emotionally? Obviously, with play being fired so early, some, some tough losses. Just where do you think guys are at? Yeah, I would say that this year has kind of been a little bit of a roller coaster um, with just everything that's happened. But I would say that in the locker room and just the guys, like we've all been able to stay really close to each other. And um, I think that we've grown a lot just, you know, because we face so much adversity. And, you know, I think that, you know, these next five games, like we're all ready to show what we have. And we're, I think that we're on the right path right now. And I just think that, uh, you know, next opportunities that we're going to get, we're making the most of it.